Then we are almost halfway through with the semester, and this is a big week because you'll be completing your synthesis essay this week. Next week, you're going to look forward to starting your own original research, but this week is all about getting project two finished. So let's take a look at what is coming up. So just as a reminder, you can click on the schedule of assignments that will bring up the course assignments for the semester. We're going to scroll down here to week seven, which starts um, today, which is Monday. <clears throat> and you'll be, um, here we go, uh, looking over your synthesis essay and providing a draft. Um, by the end of the day on Monday, you should have a draft of your synthesis essay. This has to be a complete draft of the assignment. Um, that is pretty close to four complete pages. It needs to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it needs to use those three sources. Um, you'll also kind of, there's two other assignments that are listed here, but those actually we're going to just kind of get rid of them because I want you to spend the time on the synthesis assignment. You, you won't see those in the actual um, course. So between now and Wednesday, you're going to do the peer review. By the end of the day, Wednesday, you need to go through and accomplish the peer review. And to do that, what you're going to do is you'll go to assignments. Um, which is the draft workshop assignment. And when it is completed and once everybody submits it sometime um, early tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, I will assign peer reviews. And what you'll see over here is you'll see people's names or you'll see anonymous. Um, you go through those, you'll use the rubric. When you get in there, you'll be able to click up in here in this area. There's um, a thing that says use the rubric to put information on. And the rubric is based specifically on the minimum requirements for the assignment. Now, just as a reminder, if you haven't looked over the feedback um, for this course, it's really important that all of the process work, all of the homework, you're looking through the feedback. If you go to modules and you go to the Project 2 Synthesis Essay, make sure that you've actually looked over everything in this folder. This is a lot of the course content, um, including information about how to integrate sources, there are videos and lectures that I've created for you about integrating sources correctly. There are, there's information about peer review, why we do it, and how to make effective peer reviews. Um, and also information about drafting your essay, including strong introductions, T paragraphs are reviewed there, conclusions, and overall paragraph organization and flow. And again, these are not necessarily hard and fast rules the same way that you have in a five paragraph essay, but they are conventions, expectations, and strategies. Finally, it's really, really important that as you're looking through everything, you've reviewed the instructions carefully. Um, I make my instructions pretty comprehensive. And if you're not meeting the minimum requirements, it's really hard to get a passing grade in this course. So the big things to pay attention to is this is a four page essay. It's four double spaced pages. Um, the works cited page is an additional page. So it's four pages of writing. Your purpose is to correct a common misperception related to academic writing. You can pick any of these, the college composition classroom, the five paragraph essay or standardized grammar. If you have not already contacted me about another topic, you should not be writing about another topic at this point. The big thing to remember is the audience are your fellow, fellow students who are just starting out in college. This is an audience of first year composition students. If you're writing to educators or to both students and educators or to a general audience or to only a specific group of students, you're not actually meeting the minimum requirements of the essay. So don't forget that your essay needs to present an argument. You've spent a lot of time reading about all of the information over these last few weeks. Um, you've read four or five different essays that give arguments about the five paragraph essay and teaching standardized grammar. And you've read those um, primary resources, those manifestos, vision statements, and other statements of, of what first year composition should be and what the outcomes of that should be. So now that you've taken the time to really read that, you've done tons of analysis assignments, you should have dug deep into those resources, you should have something to say. And don't forget what you're doing is you are correcting 
a bad idea. You're correcting a misperception. So the first thing that you need to figure out is what bad idea are you correcting? If you don't have that, it's going to be really hard to come up with a thesis that addresses the topic. Now, don't forget at the end of every instruction section, um, there's a place that talks about like revision and what you should look for for revision. But the really important thing are these minimum requirements. So you should be able to go through your essay and use this list of minimum requirements as a checklist. If your essay doesn't do all of these things, it cannot earn a B or higher. So that is what we are doing for this um, for this week. What you'll be doing is you'll be working until Monday, getting your essay written and turned in until Wednesday. You'll be working on the draft workshop where you give peer reviews. Um, don't forget to do the intro paragraph. As long as you've turned that in by Wednesday, you'll get my feedback on your intro paragraphs. Any intro paragraphs turned in after Wednesday, however, will just get credit. And then your synthesis essay is going to be due on Sunday by midnight. Now remember, if you need an extension, you can request one, but if you haven't requested it by Friday afternoon, then the time is up and you haven't quite met that deadline. Next week, we are going to move on to unit two, which is probably the most important unit of the semester because it's where you're going to start on research. We're gonna be basing our readings in the ideas of post-truth and cognitive bias. So there'll be more information about that next week. If you have any questions, if you need help with anything, it's really important that you're using office hours. Don't forget that um, there's also the PGCC Writing Center available. If you go to the modules page and you go to course information, there is a student support section and the Writing Center has um, weekly availability. Students can have up to two free half hour appointments each week. And just so you're aware, these are all professors in the English department. So these are not student tutors. These are all professors of English who are available to help you with your essays. Um, so don't be afraid to reach out for help when you need it. And let me know if you have any questions. I hope you have a great week. I'm looking forward to reading your synthesis essays. Um, and, and talking more about research next semester.